Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Wilson here at Queen Central. So, people have been wanting me to do a response video to my previous video where I was talking, it was my reaction on the Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma beef. So a lot of people were mad as fuck. <laughs> they were so mad at the fact that I was basically a Nicki Minaj thing. I fell to realize is that I wasn't on, I wasn't really, I wasn't really phased by that. I wasn't really in the moment on the video. Like a lot of people were caught up in the moment of the video. Like, oh, she did Nicki Minaj. Oh, she had a couple good bars. This is great for hip hop. Yes, we've been needing this shit. Okay. If this was a battle rap thing, okay, good. She got had a good round one. But it's bigger than that. You had to come at Nicki Minaj for you to be relevant. I see if Nicki Minaj was out here like, yeah, Remy, you know, Remy this, Remy what. Mm -mm -mm. She wasn't even saying nothing about Remy. The gag is the what she said in her make love verse wasn't even about Remy. Because it's like, if, if Nicki came for her, then I'd be like, okay. It, it can't, I, Nikki can't help the fact that everyone who comes at Nicki Minaj flops. They don't have platinum selling on the billboards. They don't have that. That's why she been was saying competition. Why, yes, I would love some. I don't, there's no competition. You know, I feel like it just, it just didn't make, you know, it made sense to me that that was Remy's move. It made sense. Because it was like, if you want to... Bad, like, if females really, they really can't, they're really, nowadays, people don't see it as like, oh, you could be a queen, you could be queen, you could win, you could win, you could win, in the female industry. But you have niggas in the niggas industry, rappers, you could have more than one. You know, you got Nas, you got Jay-Z, you know, say you got Eminem, you know, you, you can have more than one. You had Pac, you had Biggie. You can have more than one. But when it comes to girls, everything is like, oh, bitch, I'm better than you. And then this is the thing here. I hate the fact that people act like Nikki stole the game from Remy. If Remy did go to prison, like somebody picked Remy and said, you, go to prison. That like this was the fucking Holocaust and motherfuckers came by knocking on your door and saying, bitch, you got to go to jail. 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 No, this bitch decided to choose that route. She chose that route. Shoot your friend. Bitch, you could have just beat her at hell. You could have pistol him. You chose to shot her. Boom, boom. You chose that. You didn't give a fuck about your career. You didn't give a fuck about, yo, how this shit could go, son. This could go. You chose that. So because you chose that, you got to deal with that. We can't sit here and just pretend like Nikki didn't work hard for everything she has. We can't pretend like Nikki ain't lyrical because she is just because she's playful shady was fucking playful but you couldn't deny that nigga bars and i feel like because nikki was more serious in the beginning like with her mixtapes and then once she got once she became mainstream she went more barbie and more playful and more mm, oh my god oh my god and so people took that as like oh she think that she's a Barbie? Oh, she's a Barbie. She has different hairstyles. She has different color wigs. Oh my God! No one has done that since Little Kim, and so she wants to be like Little Kim, and she just thinks, oh, well, it's the way to go for female rap. That she can't be, she can't be a fucking rapper. She can't be lyrical. She can't be representing female rap. You gotta be mad. You gotta be upset. You gotta be an angry black woman to be considered the female of rap. And Remy goes and she says shit like, oh, you make little, you make, you give little girls the wrong idea. And my thing here is, how can you fucking speak upon what she gives little girls the wrong idea? One, 
the, this big old Nicki Minaj thing. I was going to school. I know about this bitch on MySpace. I've been following this bitch career up till Never now. once did I say, Mom, Nicki Minaj has fake boobs. Nicki Minaj has a fake ass. Mom, I want a fake boob when I grow up. I want a fake ass when I grow up. Never once did I say that. But did I want to consider myself a Barbie? Yes. Nicki Minaj, how you Barbie? I was Hello Kitty Barbie. So, you wanna, Nicki Minaj make you want to go get your hair done, dress up, be cute. She makes you want to be girly. Where, where a lot of bitches in the female rap, they make you want to be like, oh, yeah, bitch. Make you want to get mad and hate on the next bitch. Where Nicki Minaj never hated on the next bitch. Nicki Minaj was more hated on. She came in the game giving fucking props to all the bitches before her. She can't help that these bitches is jealous of her. That she's the new bitch. Oh, you, you, just, you can be playful with your rap. You're playful. So, and you don't take rap serious. You're not lyrical. You're not an MC. So bitches are mad about that. And then Remy brings shit up. Talking about what young girls think. What do you have? You don't have nothing but a fucking credit, street cred. That's all Remy my has. It's street cred. You chose, hey, you got a problem with a girl, go shoot that bitch and do time. Go to jail for it. Fuck that you even have a son to take care of. Go to jail for it. And, yeah. Terror Squad. And she decided to leave that group disrespectfully. So she's showing good girls, bite the hand that feeds you, do. So you got to bring up valid things. You just put out a rec. How did you put out a whole ass album last week? But you got time to make this record. Only a flopper has that time. press. You be doing interviews. You be trying to promote that bitch. But no one gave a fuck about it. No one don't even know when the when the shit dropped. That's so me. I was over. I was more of thinking of the big picture. Like, okay, so what does this represent? Everyone's like, oh, this is hip hop. This is this is good for hip hop. Last year when Drake and Meek Mill was fucking with fucking. Beefing, no one gave a fuck that Meek Mill was more lyrical. No one gave a fuck that Meek Mill was hitting valid points. No one gave a fuck that people actually had facts to back up what Meek Mill said. A whole ass nigga came out and said, yes, I wrote for Drake. It's whole ass verses that Drake took. <laughs> but no one gave a fuck. Now, that would have been good for hip hop. It's actually niggas. But no one gave a fuck. Everybody said, oh, Meek took an L. Meek gave an L. But now people give a fuck about what Meek Miller's doing in this female situation. Y'all y'all supporting that this nigga is running his mouth and doing all this. Y'all give a fuck about that. It just shows you how the world is. Y'all real wishy-washy. Y'all real floppy. Because if y'all did, if any y'all, if, if, if y'all gave a fuck about any beef, y'all should give a fuck about a Drake and Meek Mill beef. But y'all didn't give a fuck about a Drake and Meek Mill, Meek Mill beef. Because of what? Because Meek Mill was incredible. But y'all sitting here doing this shit with Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj, and it's like, not once was a fact, was out, was that the fact that she had a fake ass. Okay. We don't know if sh this shit is real about what Meek Mill said. We don't know if she really fucked Trey Songz. We don't know if she really fucked Even Messi, and it's just real like, you got too much time on your hands. And everybody's worried about, oh, if Nicki Minaj is going to respond. You know, I personally think, she should respond. And if she don't, oh well. This isn't going to make or break Nicki Minaj's career. Because then again, who's Remy Ma? So it's still like, okay, it's good for hip-hop, but moving along. Nicki Minaj is booked. She got shit to do. You know what I mean? Bitches talk shit about you. you what you gonna do? You gonna reply to every bitch? Because it's good. It's entertaining. It's good for street credibility. Come on. There's really nothing to say back to her. You go go back to her. It was like, oh, everybody was bored. Everybody was looking for something, for something to talk about. So it was like, okay, love and hip hop is over. Now we gotta keep ourselves relevant. That's how I see it. And so people were so mad because I said what I had to say. This is how I feel. Remy, like, was I really supposed to go to camera? And be like, Remy Mods trashed her. She bodied her. She's done for. She's done. No, Nick Minaj is the reason why, bitch, you can even come out and have something to talk about. No one cared about what you had to say. No one gave a fuck. No one was like, hey, Remy Ma's out. Let's see. And, you, and then it's like, okay, after this, what, are you the queen now? Are we supposed to say all hell queen Remy Ma? You came home and you went right to your crib like a regular devil. Right? Okay. 
when Foxy got out, this bitch had the whole block in front of her crib. The whole block of where she was from. The whole block of where she grew up at. When she went shopping, the whole fucking, it was a riot outside. All the motherfucking, was, all her fans was outside. So, that's queen shit. We waiting for you to come home. We counting it down a day. When Remy got out, she went home like a regular degler. But you queen. Then I hear Kim. And, you know, this situation is just a whole bunch of your typical female shit. Now Kim is like, Remy Ma, yeah. Yeah, bitch. We gonna do a song together. Definition of mad bitches link up. Hating ass bitches. Like, what are you mad for? Kim, you haven't been popping since Biggie got killed. Your career died with him. Come on now. People fucking with you based on what you used to do. We fucking with Nicki Minaj based off what she used to do and what she's still doing. That's the problem with people. People want to be like, oh, you the shit because of what you used to do. Come on. Come on. Really? We can still blast Nicki Minaj mixtapes. Ten years. It's been ten years since those motherfucking mixtapes. <laughs> if Nicki Minaj still got shit we can pull out. She's still the flyest bitch. She's still shitting on bitches. But I'm supposed to get on here and be like, oh, Remy Ma, you win. You did it. Oh. Bitches hate every day, B. Bitches get sh talk shit talked about every day, B. Y'all saying, saying, this nigga wrote for Nicki Minaj, this person wrote for Nicki Minaj, but ain't nobody got no receipts. Everybody just talking. That's what we do now. This is, everybody just talk. Oh, you fucked this person. No receipts. So, that's how I feel about the response. I didn't really give a fuck to even comment back on people because I felt like, you're wasting your time. Just like how y'all feel passionate about Remy Ma, she shit. That's how I feel about Nikki. So I can't be mad at y'all that y'all feel this way about Remy Ma. So why y'all mad? Because I feel this way about Nicki Minaj. I have a reason to be feeling this way about Nicki Minaj. Y'all have no reason to feel this way about Remy Ma. Her, she, she, she's always been a good rapper. She's always been a good MC. No one's never taken that from her. She doesn't have to, she doesn't have to hate on Nicki Minaj for someone to know that. She's always been a good MC. She comes from a battle rap background. So she needs to just stick to that. Queen of the ring with Babs. That's what she needs to go back to. But this mainstream shit. Come on now. Nicki Minaj is in the pros. I'm getting this real coin. You know? Like you're washed up. You don't love hip hop. That They need to switch that to all washed up. Like a laundry mat. You can't fuck with Remy like that. Because it didn't really show what type of true, what type of bitch she is. Like, come on now. Anybody could go and sit here and say, oh, girl, you fuck this nigga, you fuck that nigga, you fuck this nigga. Anybody could do that. So, to me, it's like, come harder. And then they're like, oh, she got another diss rap. She got another diss. You gonna make a whole album about Nicki, huh? <laughs> come on. Come on. Anybody can sell a disc because people, that's the world we live in now. Everybody's worried about shade and everybody's worried about, ooh, this person said this. Everybody's worried about that. Can you sell an album? Miss Queen? Miss The Shit? This is about bars. This is about hip hop. Ooh. Nobody's even supporting you in hip hop. No one gave a fuck about you a week ago. You just spoke of the queen. So how can we sit here and say Nicki Minaj is a queen? This shit went crazy because she came at Nicki Minaj. You came at Nicki Minaj? Every shit went crazy. People didn't know how to act. You can't tell me that Nicki Minaj is a queen. This shit is everywhere. Because you came at Nicki Minaj. Not because you you are Remy Ma and who Remy Ma came at Nicki Minaj. It's because you came at Nicki Minaj. Nicki don't gotta respond. You ain't the first bitch to diss Nicki Minaj. You ain't first bitch to make a whole song about Nikki. You ain't the first bitch to feel some type of way about Miss Nikki. So, rather Nikki Minaj responds or she doesn't. If she responds, I can't wait. I'm going to be front row. If she doesn't, I'm still going to be front row. I'm still fucking weird. She's still the queen. She's still the baddest bitch. And moving along. So, 
that's how I feel to you motherfuckers who who felt some type of way because I wasn't on Remy Ma's bandwagon all of a sudden. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but that doesn't I'm not going to discredit Nikki because somebody came up and said, Hey, you fucked Ebo, you fucked Trey Songs, and you couldn't fuck your current nigga for three months because your ass, whatever she said, you know, like, come on. It's good for hip hop. It was entertaining, yes. But she's no Pac. She's no Biggie. So I don't care on what else she got coming next. I don't care. Cause especially because she overreacted. It wasn't even about you. I see. She came so hard. She came hard. As if. Nikki said, Remy, you, yo, yo, you can't even bop out a baby. You know? Nay. Remy, 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 you act like the bitch said your name. You're assuming. Just like an insecure bitch. You're assumed. So you went and said every fucking thing you could think about Nicki Minaj. You fucked Trey Songz. You fucked Ebro. Come on now. Stop. Get back in the booth and produce a record. Something. Have a baby. Something. <laughs> That's how I feel, y'all. And I'm still so passionate about this. So, and I'm very passionate about what I fuck I'm gonna say. So, you know, if anybody feels the type of way, that's you guys. But me, I'm good. Y'all feel the type of way, I don't give a fuck. This is my YouTube channel. I'm gonna say how I feel. I'm gonna be 100 to my feelings. I'm gonna be 100 to who I like and who I don't like. I'm gonna be 100 to a fraud and not fraud. You know what I'm saying? But please have receipts. You know, and it's just, you know, it is what it is. Thank you for listening to my long ass video again. I just wanted to clear that out and let everybody know in my comments. I don't give a fuck how you feel. I don't give a fuck if you're Team Remy Ma. Stay on Team Remy Ma. Stay broke and stay. Make sure you always keep a side hustle if you're Team Remy Ma. It's most important to always keep a side hustle because you can't put all your eggs in one basket. So, thank you for watching my channel. I am Miss Motherfucking Wilson. And follow me on Twitter at still Miss Wilson. And stay tuned for my next video. Maybe I'll be shading another bitch. Maybe. But we will see. Everyone, thank you for tuning in and fucking with me. And I will see you guys next time on my next fucking video.